Hello there, I'm Sandy Ulnock. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And I hope that if you get something out of this video, you will subscribe and join me for many more. I'm an artist and I work in all sorts of mediums. And typically I work in high quality artist grade paints instead of craft grade paints, which is what I have in front of me right here. I have a couple reasons for reconstituting this old set. They're kind of crumbling. The cakes in there are, are dried up. It's because I just put out a gift guide. And the painting you're gonna to see today, very simple one, is one that's in the gift guide. And it's illustrating the sketchbook that I'm painting it in, but the paints are also in a class that it's gonna be coming up to. And I'll tell you more about that as we go. But I had to reconstitute the paints in order to get them to do something because they were very, very dry. They've been sitting around for years. And once I did this portion of it, I realized exactly what I was going to paint on this sketchbook. While reconstituting these paints, I had a little idea pop into my head. And it, it just came because I saw how thick these paints were turning into. Like they were so thick, they're kind of a chalky sort of paint. They're not a gouache, but they kind of have a, a bit of an opacity to them. And that's one of the reasons why I haven't used them in so long, because I like the transparency in most watercolors. And these have a little bit more of that chalky opacity that I'm not a big fan of. But I thought for this, they could really work great because I had a little votive candle that was sitting off to the side on my desk because it's candle burning season in my world. And I thought, wait a minute, I could make ornaments using that by just painting some nice thick paint on the edges of the votive candle holder, the little glass. And I thought that would be a cool thing to try and just cleaned it in between each different color set that I painted with. Now I painted this for the gift guide specifically because I wanted to talk about the sketchbook that I'm working in. And a lot of people are like, hey, I want a good sketchbook, a good watercolor sketchbook. And all of the ones that you see online and stuff are for the most part, a not necessarily great watercolor paper because you, know, you, you don't want to spend very much money when you're getting a sketchbook. So they drop the quality so that they can get the price down. This is actually Arches paper, and they make these sketchbooks in all the different grades of paper they normally do, the hot press, the cold press, and the rough. And for, you know, like 20-ish bucks, I think they are, you know, some places they'll be like 25, it's a pretty decent sketchbook for that. You know, it's not a huge number of pages and things, but if you wanna practice real watercolor techniques, then you wanna practice on real watercolor paper. Because if you use some of those that are more of mixed media paper, you don't always get the same kind of results. And what I'm getting here with these ornaments is the dry brush kind of edges that you can get from a good arches paper that you can't really when you're working with a kind of mixed media or, I don't know, it's hard to explain what I mean by the surface, but if you've ever had like a pentallic sketchbook, which I love for pen and ink, doesn't do great watercolor edges like arches. Uh, I think this one is a, um, a cold press sketchbook. So this is one of the things that's in the gift guide. And I put this painting in as the example. So if you would like to just encourage my little heart, then go look at the gift guide. <laughs> in a lot of them, I took just straight up product pictures of the different art supplies that I was listing. And in a bunch of them, I put a little piece of artwork and some of them I made just for the gift guide. So this painting is one of them. And I would love to have your feedback on the gift guide itself. Is it helpful? That sort of thing. But also there is a quiz that you can sort of take, well, like I, not really a quiz. There's no like thing to fill out, but I divided all the mediums up by personality. And I thought some of my choices may have been a little dodgy in terms of which personality suits which artist better, but maybe you can go in and weigh in on that. You can leave some comments. There's some other artists who joined in and also shared some artwork on the gift guide and shared their ideas 
for what you might want to put onto your Christmas list this year. There's stuff there that you can give to other people as well as things you can request Santa come give to you. So you can just send a link to the page that has the thing on it that you want. And then also um, there's a new class that I also got these watercolors out for because they're not high grade watercolors, but I know there's a lot of people who are not ready for the kind of watercolors that I use and they don't want to spend that kind of money. These are less expensive for a ton of colors. And I'm going to be doing a coloring book class. You'll see more on that in the coming weeks. I'm getting that class kind of started and underway, but I put it in the gift guide because you might want to give the gift of getting somebody else into coloring books. Cause I'm telling you, it's totally a gateway drug into art <laughs> because there's people who think I can't make art. You make beautiful things. I could never do that, but you might have a vision for them. That's bigger than their own vision. And you could give them a coloring book class and some coloring books and you don't even have to use the ones that are in the, the class because the things I'm going to teach are all the basics that you guys learn from me all the time. I'm going to kind of try to break down color theory really simply, shading really simply, and give them some good ideas on how they can blend better with their mediums. And I'm going to do three different mediums in the class too. So watercolor is actually going to be one of them. And these are the ones that I'll be painting with. So the watercolors don't even have to be fancy ones. They can be little kids watercolors. And um, you can see the whole pre-class lesson has all the supplies listed in it and a video and everything. There's color swatching they can get started on. Um, or you can just wait because the lessons are gonna come out on Christmas day. Because I was the kid on Christmas day, I always looked forward to spending the whole day making art stuff because I always got some kind of art supplies because my mom was an artist and I always got good stuff. And I wanted to just spend my day with my new 64 box of crayons. And I thought it would be kind of fun if some of you wanted to get your friends and family, maybe grandchildren, anybody, even adults. Um, this is not a class that's made for kids, but kids can enjoy it as well. It's made for all ages. And you could get them into art by go go pick out some of what you think will be their favorite kind of coloring book subjects and get them a medium. So I'm going to do watercolor, I'm going to do alcohol markers and color pencils and show them blending techniques and everything in each one. So this painting, by the way, let me get back to talking about it because I haven't done any of that. I just used water to move the color as you could easily see in uh, the footage here for the all of these branches that I'm putting down, I am using my fancy expensive brush. I realize that, but you could do all kinds of things. You could just have these on say a gift card or greeting card and just have strings hanging from them. And that's it. You don't even have to put in all of this craziness, but I'm trying to paint them so that they kind of start and stop before the ornaments. So I don't have any branches coming out in front of them because everything's still sopping wet. You're seeing everything in real time here. So, I didn't actually get the hair dryer out or anything, just kind of kept making little branches. And I tried to leave some areas nice and empty, um, both inside the ornaments as well as around the tree branches, just to have something, uh, something that felt light and airy. Cause my last painting, which you might've seen was my heavy, heavy over layered Santa Claus painting. And this just felt like, a nice light refreshing thing after having painted the heavy night sky from the Santa painting. And it just came out really nice. I have a couple of colors in my set um, of Gansai Tambis. At the bottom row is all metallics. So I'm gonna be able to use metallics in the class from this one, but I also list in the class a set of, or a couple different sets for options of metallic watercolors. And yes, you can use watercolors in coloring books. You don't even have to have a special one, although there is one watercolor sketchbook listed in that classroom. So I'll link directly to the pre-class as well as the class uh, if you want to sign up for it yourself and uh, link, link to all that in the doobly-doo. So this is the Santa Claus painting. In case you missed that one, you can uh, click on the link in the doobly-doo and I will... Uh, Love to hear your feedback on that one because it was a hot mess. 
It was a total hot mess until it wasn't. All right. Thank you so much. I will see you in my next video. Until then, go get creative and make something every day.